Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another installment of my journey to go green. Today's episode is a review of Oatly Whippable Vanilla Custard. Recently, the good people at Oatly got in touch with me after watching one of my review videos. They said they'd love to send me a few more bits and pieces to try. Of course, I said yes. Now you need to be aware that whilst I'm not being paid to review this product, they have sent it to me for free to take a look at. I haven't tried it before, and as always, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion when I try it. What is this Oatly Whippable Vanilla Custard? It's saying serve cold. It's got a shelf life of, this is about three weeks after the date of when I was sent the product. So a reasonable shelf life and it needs to be kept refrigerated. So it is a plant-based vanilla custard. Now the ingredients are water, sugar, oats as 9%, rapeseed oil, fully hydrogenated coconut and rapeseed oil, emulsifiers, vanilla flavor, stabilizer, iodized salt and color, which is beta carotene. Previously, this was made with palm oil, but only have taken the decision to move away from that and they're now using the rapeseed oil and coconut oil in combination. To get a match for a custard flavor, they have gone and added in some sugar. Now, obviously they say it's free from milk and soya. Now looking at the nutritional information per 100 milliliters, it's got 168 kilocalories, 11 grams fat, of which 6.2 is saturates, 16 grams carbohydrate, of which 13 grams is sugar. It's got 0.9 grams of fiber, 0.8 grams of protein, and 0.14 grams of salt. Now they're saying to keep refrigerated at no more than eight degrees C and to consume within five days of opening. So it's got a reasonable shelf life in the fridge unopened, but once you've opened it, consume it within about five days. Oatly go for some kind of quirky messaging on their packaging. They found that it wasn't particularly working when they had bland packaging, so they've gone and made some sort of quirky packaging across the range, and they found that really helps with their marketing. So on here it's saying, whip it good. And it's saying, to get the most out of our new vanilla custard, you will need to whip it real good before serving. Why? Because once whipped, this vanilla custard will fluff up in ways previously considered impossible, even by the standards of those into whipping things, ultimately resulting in the kind of vanilla custard you can justify spending time reading about on the back of a product carton. Whip it good. The climate footprint, it's got 0.73 kilograms of CO2 per kilogram of product, and the source is carbon cloud. They're saying, please recycle the packaging as paper carton. So where possible, this is able to be recycled. It is a 250 mil carton. From when I checked earlier online, it was around about one pound 20 in the supermarkets for this size. Obviously, I'm sure you'll get a lot cheaper for regular custard, but obviously this is a non-dairy custard. You're not comparing like for like there, but I think £1.20 for this 250 mil carton uh, seems quite reasonable. I've got some apple pie to test it with and a bowl. So I'm going to need to whip this up first. Oh, oh, definite vanilla smell there. So it's vanilla flavor, so not actual vanilla, but vanilla flavor but it certainly smells like custard. I've got a container to pour it into. Right, so it's very, um, very liquid when it's being poured. Got a whisk and I'm gonna give this a go. Oh, it does smell really good. So let's give this a bit of a whisk. On a low power whisk, that's, I would say, doubled in size. So it's got that air in it as well. Well, it's definitely got that vanilla custard taste. It's not as thick as custard would be because obviously we've got a lot of air mixed in there now through doing the whisking, but it's got the flavor of the vanilla custard. I'd whip this through and I've left it a couple of minutes and it's still maintained its extra height. So that's holding quite well, so that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is try a couple of bits of pie, I'm gonna have one hot and one cold just to see if there's a difference. Okay, so I'm just pouring on a bit of the custard onto each of these. That pours well. Right, let's take a look at those two. So this is the one where it's just the cold custard on the cold pie, and that's uh, looking like a proper creme anglaise, I would say. And this is the one that I've just got and put in the microwave. It's made the custard a little bit liquid 
from what I can see. Yeah, it's gone quite liquid. So it's not maintaining a sort of thick consistency when it's been heated through. But let's give it a taste and see. So I'm going to try the cold one first. It tastes nice, but it does taste a little bit like I've had vanilla ice cream on there and it, it's melted. It's that sort of consistency that hasn't got the thickness to it. So it's definitely tasty, like a vanilla custard, but it doesn't have the same properties. It's quite liquid, even though I've used the whisk to it double it in height, putting all that air in, it hasn't made it a thick custard, but it is tasty. Let's try it on the, um, when it's been heated. Now see, this is definitely looks like it's gone liquid. There's a changing color. Um, it's a darker yellow, but let's see what it's like with the, uh, the hot custard. So yeah, definitely liquid. Hmm. It tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. It's a nice vanilla custard. But again, it hasn't got that thickness. So I'm not sure what you'd do to try and get that thickness from it. Because at the moment, we've just got that liquid. Here we go. It's just quite a runny custard. But the flavor's there. And here's the consistency of the cold one. So this has a little bit more thickness to it than the one that I heated. I definitely prefer it as a cold custard, but it does remind me of melted vanilla ice cream. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It would be great if you can let me know in the comments down below if you've used this and worked out how to get that thickness in. Have you mixed it with something else to make it a little bit um, thicker to get that custard consistency? It would be really good to know. So um, let me know in the comments down below. So there you go, folks. That's my review of the Oatly Whippable Vanilla Custard. I think it's a very tasty vanilla custard, but it doesn't quite have that thickness that I would be looking for from a custard. But certainly if I'm looking for a non-dairy custard, then this is one that I would be considering. And I think it's a good price. So um, check it out and give it a go. Well, there you go, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please click the like button down below. And if you haven't done so already, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. I'm going to be loading up lots of reviews of Oatly products. So if you're interested in those, subscribe, click the bell icon, and then you'll get notified when they're loaded up. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Until next time. Bye.